What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Sat Show. A couple of videos ago, I actually I actually named a couple of stocks in that video that uh, you guys should probably take advantage of because they were severely, severely in undervalued. If you guys haven't known, a lot of stocks over the last couple of months, last three months approximately, have been selling off, especially a whole lot of Sky, um, sorry, growth stocks and Kathy Wood stocks. So February 5th, all of them kind of like peaked. And essentially, now today, we see skills up 30%. We see sends up 17%. Nano Dimensions, a nice 3%. Boozy up 10%. These are, all, these are all companies that we've spoken on the channel. Not just these, but I'm talking about overall, in general, all the growth stocks have just been pumping. And we see the Russell 2000 Index also rallied 2%. And that's a lot more than however much the SPY gained today. So about three months ago on February 23rd, this is shortly after the growth stocks started to sell off. JP Morgan actually put out a statement saying it's time to bet on the bet on the S&P 500. Essentially, over the last year, we have been seeing a crazy bull run in growth stocks and high speculation stocks, and then a huge sell off. I'm, I mean, I'm talking more than 50% reduction on many stocks. And essentially, some of the stocks started to not even make any more sense, like the prices. As it, uh, for example, Nano Dimensions, they have they have a cash balance of around 1.5 billion dollars, and their market cap like went down to almost that number. It doesn't really make sense because they actually do have technology and they actually have a good management team. And this these companies were basically like super undervalued after they sold off and yeah that's essentially because a lot of hedge funds decided to rotate out of these growth stocks into value stocks and recovery plays since cv19 is starting to go away so we've seen a lot of stocks in those sectors start to pop but i think that finally a lot of money is is starting to come into these growth stocks again Guys, please hit the like button because it will help the algorithm push my YouTube videos out more. And I am trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. So go ahead and subscribe if you've been enjoying the video so far. Now, I know this generally can be just retail investors piling their money in. But the reason why I don't think that is because... We've been bleeding for about three months here and retail investors have been buying and buying the dip. If you see it on Twitter, everybody's just tweeting buy the dip and they've been buying the dip for like months now. And I don't think that the retail investors are causing this huge pump today. Like as in, it's it, it's not really rare to see like a couple of stocks pump up like 30 to 20 percent, but we're seeing a whole ton of stocks going up like 20 percent. And I really do think it's the hedge funds rotating back into growth stocks. So the final thing that I'm going to address in this video is two stocks that I think are still currently extremely undervalued. And I know this is a really short video. It's just kind of an update on what the stock market is doing today. And yeah, the first stock right here that I'm going to talk about is actually Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR. I actually averaged down my position yesterday and yeah, I... I am actually heavy, heavy on Palantir. I believe that this is my third biggest holding um, besides. So in order, I own mostly Tesla, then Square, and then Palantir, and then Nano Dimensions. Uh, or I believe Nano Dimensions and Palantir is about the same, to be honest. But yeah, I think that this is still severely undervalued. We haven't seen a huge rally yet. This went to like $40 per share a couple of months ago. And even at that price, I think that this company is going to be undervalued at what it's going to be growing at in the future. I think that more and more companies are going to see that Palantir's technology is going to help their companies grow. And the more people understand that, the more people will get on and start using Palantir softwares. And Wall Street doesn't seem to understand this stock yet. And yeah, I I, I, I will make a more in-depth video on this later on. However, for you guys who want to uh, look for any growth stocks to invest in, I highly suggest taking a look at Palantir. It's severely undervalued. And the second stock that I actually want to talk about is MP Materials. Their last earnings was extremely stellar and the stock actually shot up to almost $50 per share. And although some stocks have shot up like 20% today, I believe that MP Materials is still severely undervalued. So if you guys are looking for some um, another stock to buy, I would really suggest looking into MP Materials. And actually one more stock that hasn't really popped off yet is Star Peak, ticker symbol STPK. And I think that this is a really good buying level too. Once again, it peaked out a couple of months ago at around $50 per share. This is a SPAC. However, they're already in a definitive agreement with merging with a company called STEM. So yeah, take a look at those three companies, guys. And that's going to be it for today. Once again, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.